Welcome to the sun room, everybody. Late fall and early winter. This is the most beautiful room in the house. Gets the best light, so more and more things coming to you from this room. Charlie and I enjoy ourselves here. This is where we spend a lot of our Sundays, and so since this reading is Monday morning, and I'm recording it on Sunday, <laughs> this is where we are. All right, so welcome into the new week. Mars is moving direct this week, which is a relief to a lot of us who like to get things moving forward. You're going to feel that. I mean, there is the shadow period of it, but just know that the energy seems to be freeing itself up a little bit. Same with uh, Mercury went direct last week. This week there's a new moon in Scorpio. I'll be doing a reading about that later in the week. Scorpio is about transformation, and it is about moving out of one phase of your life and into another. And this is a good week to really just go inside and understand, you know, where it is that you want to go from here. Can you do a little meditating around that? You know, what is really my next step here? What do I, where do I really want to go? All right. Grace and gratitude, thankful, being thankful for everything that's going on. Mystic healer. All right. Some of you are going to be moving more into that process navigating by the stars follow your bliss so this does feel to me a tremendous energy of joy um and <sighs> release joy and release uh some of you uh need to understand that you are really on the path of becoming a mystic healer you might be coming across a healer or a teacher in your life that might be something very um, good for you to welcome because um, the navigating by the stars, I feel like how we're going to be moving forward is going to be something that is an, it's new. All right. It's very new, not going backwards, not going, um, not going back into, into an old place of, you know, um, competition. I'm here in competition and hard charging and all of that stuff. I feel like we're really flowing out of that energy now. Um, I'm really starting to feel the, the Aquarius energy uh, that's going to be happening in December. I'm really starting to feel that. So underneath is the Seven of Wands. Let me move these a little bit here. All right. So Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Woo! Devil energy. Feel the heaviness of this. Devil energy, Six of Wands. Oh, that's where you want that. Page of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Knight of Wands, Queen of Cups. All right, so this is a battle between your thoughts and your heart, okay? So right now, there's this, where we're coming out of is this Nine of Pentacles. It can feel good to a lot of people. At least it feels stable, right? Like it's a known entity, known quantity. Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. And realizing how um, that might not be the way forward. All right, things become toxic, things become heavy. Um, this Nine of Wands underneath, most definitely. So needing to overcome that. I feel like you have all the confidence you need. You have the skill set, okay? King, Knight of Pentacles. The healing, the mystic healer coming in. Could be a Virgo, Capricorn even a Sag, okay, this mystic healer. So six of wands, you could be the mystic healer or they could be a healer to you. This is, um, I feel like this person is gonna reflect to you something you need to learn. And as you're working your way out of it, it's like, I've come so far and the learning, what's being reflected to me is something I need to learn. So it, it's likely a, the clash between the thoughts and the heart. All right, I'm going to say that Knight of Wands there is the clash. Like, where is your passion? Is your passion in your thinking? In your thinking mind? Is your passion in your heart chakra? Um, so for some of you that are very mind-oriented, thinking your way out of things, that could have been the past way to do this. Very confident about that, but it became toxic. It became heavy. So this new way forward, okay, I'm going to learn some new things, overcoming some heavy toxic patterns of the past, and ba-bam, I'm right away getting hit with this Knight of Wands energy, 
which is that Mars moving forward, kind of let's get it going, let's get it going. But I think what needs to be healed is the heart. Okay? There's kind of like a, a rush of adrenaline here, a rush of joy, but the heart really needs to be healed. And I do feel like that um, is something that is being, you're, you're being made aware of this right now. And it is a battle between your mind and your heart here. Seven of Wands, Three of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Empress. So back to the grace and gratitude. You know, graciousness is going to be important. Um, thankful, joyful, and healing energy. Boy, that healing energy has been really loud the past month. So the ideas are awesome. The heart is awesome and everything like that. But I almost feel like this Knight of Wands is reminding you not to forget about, um, not to just move forward without saying thank you to where, how you've gotten to this place. Good, bad, indifferent. Okay. You've gotten to this place. So there's some kind of, of lesson in everything you've been through. So it's time, it's a little bit of reflection time here, um, to have some grace and gratitude around how you got to where you are right now. Now there's like an infinite possibilities opening up. And I do feel like there is, um, there is somebody you're going to leave out in the cold. There is something that is no longer serving you. Um, but I almost feel like there's needs to be love around that. It's like, um, It's like not just throwing something overboard or throwing someone overboard. It's more like let's reflect and embrace what that was, what that lesson was, all right? Don't just throw it away and be like, oh, that's so the old me, right? Don't just do that. Um, instead, you're going to want to send love energy to that, send healing energy to that. Cool. The new path, Ten of Pentacles, beautiful energy, chariot moving forward. Okay, so what you don't want to do is be too much my way or the highway. And this can be in a relationship that you have. Like I said, it could be a Virgo energy, Capricorn, Sag. I see Taurus and Libra here too. All right, Cancerian energy. So there's this, there's an ongoing battle for your soul here. Like, how am I going to move forward? I've, I've healed something that's really terrible for me, that was really hurtful, that was really um, not good in my life. And just labeling it as not good and shove it in the closet and locking the door isn't where you want to be. Okay, you don't want to do that. Instead, you want to look at it a little bit more closely and be like, how did I get there? Why was that there? Why did I think that that was a path for me at any time? And how can I embrace that as sort of like a, a sweet, well, how can I use my loving energy to, it's almost like remembering, right? You're, what you're doing is you're bringing parts of yourself back together. And you're grateful for that. Thank you for the lesson. Thank you for that. Having grace and gratitude for that is a very healing thing. Because I do feel like there's seven of swords here. I do feel like there is um, a little bit of um, a little bit of lie you're telling yourself about how you're moving forward. That it's like, oh, none of that really happened. I didn't really have any of that. I didn't really have an addiction. I didn't really have any of that toxicity. Oh, that's so like you know last year. And <laughs> instead of that, send love to that. Embrace that. Embrace that part of you. Embrace that, um, that negativity, low vibration, hate, fear, resistance, resentment, any kind of low vibration stuff. Because this low vibration stuff that you were in was teaching you something about your healing work, your healing path. What is the healing path now? Because you're navigating by something new coming up. Navigating by the new energy of the Aquarian energy 
right, as we're moving into the solstice in December. So it's not like we're jumping right over November because there's a lot of really amazing energy. It's the energy, Scorpio, the energy of transformation happening right now. So even if there are parts of yourself that you're like, I don't like that about me. I don't like that I'm jealous. I don't like that, I, that I'm quick to anger. I don't like that I don't listen to people. I don't like that I'm judgmental. Whatever it is about yourself that you don't like, okay? In this transformation, can you embrace that and say thank you for the lessons that that has taught you? Do you see what I'm saying? Instead of just tossing it out and being like, oh, I'm not that way anymore. I'm just so perfect now. <laughs> not that you would say that, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like there's something there that still needs to be respected. Okay. There's something that still needs to be respected. So um, some of you could be moving toward a new relationship um, that is going to go the distance that does have the ability to create long lasting, um, commitment, but not if you throw away all of the lessons of the toxic partners of the past, not if you throw away your lessons about money, lessons about cockiness or, you know, something or lying or something like that, or cheating. Not if you just toss that out and like, I'm as pristine as a newborn kitten right like that's gonna get you nowhere you're just gonna have to go through more cycles if you extend sort of the olive branch that you've been fighting about the thing you don't like about yourself the thing you most don't like about yourself that's the thing to look right in the face right like this look right in the face and be like thank you this is how I move forward okay I look it right in the face that's healing All right, let's see. Blocks, seven of pentacles, four of cups, queen of wands. So there needs to be, uh, I feel like this has been going on a really long time, not willing to look at um, pieces of you or parts of your relationships or whatever that just have not, that's very stubborn energy, okay? And some of you could be embracing passion, uh, confusing sex with love, um, uh, focusing on a partner that, you know, for one particular characteristic or another, to the exclusion of any other, you know, it's like, wow, it's like when you go look at a house, you're like, man, I love the glassed in porch of this house, but it's too small, kitchen needs a lot of work, needs a lot of work outside. Like if you do that and you're ignoring all that other stuff, it's going to cost you, okay? It's going to really cost you. So it might not be good to do that. So embrace the whole, wholeness of this. Actions and advice. Knight of Pentacles. Temperance. Page of Cups. Um, for some of you, I do see Knight of Pentacles is here twice. I see Sag energy, Virgo Sag. Um, Virgo Sag, pretty loud here. So for some of you, this can be a reconciliation of a previous relationship in which there was cheating or something like that and there needs to be some closure there needs to be some forgiveness okay yes there needs to be some forgiveness wow king of pentacles queen of pentacles just shot out what's that about ten of wands ace of pentacles empress judgment okay so I feel like there's somebody, this is a little bit of a right turn in this reading, but I, I do feel like there's somebody who is, see how this is? You might have been acting cocky, arrogant, just saying, um, immature, or you might have been too like full of yourself or something like that. There's some, some negatives here on both sides. The other person was definitely full of themselves, definitely cocky and arrogant. It's almost like you were reflecting back and forth to each other. Like the more cocky and arrogant they got, the more cocky and arrogant you got, something like that. There's some things reflected back here. I feel like um, somebody believes they won, but I got to tell you, I think you guys lost because I think this king and queen of pentacles is telling me that the old paradigm of how this relationship worked, which was all about old habits, Okay, old bias, you know, old um, anger, fear from other relationships really clouded your judgment as it relates to this, 
thing, it became a huge burden, okay? And there's a new beginning here with this person. I feel like if you let this person in from the cold, this could be a life partner, all right? If you left, let this person in from the cold, there's a possibility of that. I feel like the universe is bringing this person back around to you. I don't think you're going to have to do anything. This person is being brought back around to you. They might, they might even be bringing an apology here, okay? Actions and advice, or uh, messages to you. Three of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Strength. Okay, so I like that, so just so you know here, I'm going to move this, there's a lot of cards here. The beginning card here with this person was Devil Energy. They have overcome something. It was related to a third party situation. Uh, they likely got found out. If you were the third party, they got found out and um, that's over. But they're likely overcoming this desire to have third party situations all together. It's like you taught them, boy, that was a really negative habit. And they taught you something about you. All right. I feel like this person um, completely maybe lost all their... They were hanging on so tightly to an old way of life that it all collapsed. And now there's an option. Now they can begin again. This person can, this could be you, this could be them. I feel like it's them. This person can begin again. Okay. Completely new. I'm seeing the Empress here a couple times. All right, let's see where we go. Six of Wands. Nine of Pentacles, Six of Cups, absolutely. Five of Cups, Queen of Swords, Fool, Seven of Swords. Okay, so um, let me move this for a second. This person is going to come back around. You're the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like there's something to do with winning here. There's some kind of like, I win, you lose, something like that. I feel like if you continue to have that mindset, you're going to lose. If you feel like me not, um, sorry, hot in here, me not uh, extending the olive branch or I'm like, hey, I won, right? If I'm acting like that, I'm going to lose. It's more about us understanding the wonderfulness that you have and I have. There's no such thing as... I'm 100% awesome, you're 100% shit. There is just no such thing as that, okay? So I feel like there's going to need to be some clearing of the air so a new pattern can, a new pattern, a new path can be, can open up. Both of you have things to learn. Both of you do. And the I win, you lose paradigm is going to bring in another cycle that isn't going to be healthy for you, isn't going to be good, okay? Um, there are lots of three of cups here. I see three of cups here. I see three of cups here. Um, you might have thrown this person out for cheating. They might have connected with you in a third-party situation, something along those lines. So there's this, there's this like moral core here that needs to be reckoned with about like what are my... What are my beliefs? What are my morals around this situation? Also, it, it, separate from that, it's like um, the energy of I win, I'm 100% right, you're 100% wrong. I don't think that that's the way forward, okay? So let me see here. I'm going to do, I don't think that's the way forward, okay? Uh, because I think you're going to feel like you lose. If you, you know, if you win, then you lose or something like that. You're going to lose because you're going to have this uh, energy of um, resistance. Getting to know each other. Children. Free yourself. This could be the one. So this is somebody, I'm going to say this to you because I'm definitely feeling this energy of no way. Not this person. No way. Okay, I'm definitely feeling that. And I feel like getting to know each other, free yourself. This is about becoming brand new again and learning from each other. Really learning from each other. Okay, so instead of being cocky or arrogant like I won, 
Instead, can you move, can you shift into that energy of mystic healer, shift into that energy of grace and gratitude? I think you're going to learn a whole lot more about yourself and about love and about where you're going if you do that. I think that's really the path forward. Okay, so allow this person to show up again because there's, look, there's like a little, like a little battle here going on. Okay, so allow yourself to shift into the energy of gratitude for whatever this person is here to teach you. If you can stay away from, I win, you lose, if you can stay away from that, that'd be awesome. Okay? All right. Good morning. Happy week. I'll see you again. I'll see you later today, I'm sure.